The self-service industry began in the 1880s with the introduction of vending machines. Consumers began to use self-service gas station, ATMs, and other forms of self-service over the next several decades. Then, near the end of the 20th century, people began using telephones and computers in entirely new ways. Objects are no longer intended for the office desk, but rather as everyday tools for interaction. Self-service combined with technology to create a new industry of digital interaction in this environment. Murray Lape created the first interactive kiosk in 1977 at the University of Illinois at Urbana Campaign, which is the Plateau Hotline. And this Plateau Hotline was used for informational purpose. If you exclude vending machines, which have been around since the mid-1830s, the self-service evolution in shopping began in the 1950s in the United Kingdom. Although an automated teller machine was invented in 1967, the self-service still did not become widely used until the 1990s. It was only natural that self-service shopping would eventually lead to self-service kiosks that allow you to check out and pay for your purchase without the involvement of a human being. What is self-service kiosk? A self-service kiosk, also known as an interactive kiosk, is essentially a fixed point screen device but unlike a standard tablet kiosk, a self-service tablet kiosk is one that someone used themselves. A self-service kiosk is a small, self-contained structure that displays information of facilitators and action. It could be a self-service touchscreen kiosk, checkout point of sale, POS, like those found in supermarkets across the country, an information point in a tourist attraction, or a kiosk in an airport that allows people to check in without having to join a counter queue. A self-service kiosk also is a computer or tablet that allows customer to access information or services without having to interact with person. Self-service kiosks enable businesses to scale operation more quickly and efficiently while also lowering costs. To provide a positive customer experience, interactive self-service kiosks must have both hardware and software components that work together. On the hardware side, a kiosk is a touchscreen computer or increasingly a tablet that is secure in a physical enclosure designed to prevent tampering, damage, or thief. Because of their low cost, ease of use, and consistent quality, iPads are the most popular tablets for kiosk use. But Android and Windows tablet such as the Microsoft Surface Line are also used for various reasons. Thermal printers and card readers, for example, may also be required to enable specific functionality. Software Kiosk software is typically used to restrict the device to a single app or program. Most kiosk interface are created as web page and display in a specialized kiosk browser such as Kiosk Pro Software for iOS or iPad iOS. The first implementation McDonald's self-service kiosk finally arrived in Malaysia in 2017 after previously being available in other countries prior to the local rollout. The new kiosk will essentially allow you to bypass the counter and queue together, allowing you to place your orders with minimal fees. You order your a la carte or set meals and then wait for your number to be called at the collection counter. That easy. The best part is that you can customize your drinks and additional add-ons. So, it's not too dissimilar to ordering at the counter, just without the queue and potential social awkwardness. For SWOT analysis, for the strength 
It's improved self kiosk accuracy, self service kiosk for restaurant, reduced wait time, optimization of resources and employees, increase in sales, information sharing, and personalized experience. For weakness, self ordering machine have limited customization, kiosk cost issue, displacement of workers, content management difficulty. For the opportunity, kiosks are programmed to upsell or cross-sell. Kiosks also lead to lower costs which generate more revenue. Users also spend more when they are in control at the kiosk. For the treat, expenses are high, transactions are limited, maintenance can be a hassle, customer difficulty are common, Personal interaction are limited. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Asri bin Adin and I will explain about the analysis of improvement before and after current offerings. So before starting the process of commercializing innovation, we saw some inquiries about self-service kiosks and got encouraging feedback. Customers and other businesses have opinions to share on innovative ideas. Cross-reference data and facts about the viability of ideas on numerous websites to be sure. We've learned that the responses were encouraging and positive to avoid being expensive and time-consuming for customers to wait in line place for orders. Self-service kiosks must be more than five on all other firms as example of LilyTap's businesses, LilyTap KMS provides the kiosk features required to deliver a fully functional kiosk experience including receiving card payments, scanning, barcodes, capturing images, producing receipts, and going mobile on LilyTap smart dog electronic mount. Out of the box, KMS supports the auxiliary kiosk hardware. So for the current observing, so how the environment evolved leads to demands and wants. And now is the right time to take use of this chance. Customers today are more sophisticated and knowledgeable. Currently, uh, LilyTap KMS, a firm has released a new self-service kiosk geared at the expanding automation sector. They have upgraded an existing uh, product and made a new version of it. Malaysian naturally accept uh, the self-service kiosk because we have grown up with them and generally enjoy them. As a result, there is a strong fit and match between possibilities and entrepreneurs. They think it is a practical, viable and doable regardless of age, style or race. It is appealing to everyone. Self-service kiosks offer a lot of advantages both today and in the future. It takes up less time, avoid the hassle of standing in line, it more advanced technologically is more practical and simple to make up payment and check out in order to achieve enterprise class kiosk network performance. Self service kiosk was designed with that goal in mind. As a result, it offers network administrators a fully functional dashboard that shows status and performance information for each kiosk in your network. This supports centralized calling network assistance enables troubleshooting to be done before problems arise and increases uptime while drastically lowering maintenance costs. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hafiz Fahmi bin Zainuddin. And I'll be talking about an analysis of future potential. There's two things that are very important in the analysis. We go to the first one, which is the business forecast. The market growth of kiosk is likely to increase when we look at the statistic from the year of 2022 to 2030. As we know during the pandemic, right, the, the lockdown, the government banned and restricted movement from the public. And then that time, the many business began allowing staff to work from home. Despite the development of touchless self-service uh, devices, the market had a shortfall as a result of disruptive supply chains and decrease in demand uh, during the pandemic. So however, as soon as the restriction lift, a robust market growth rate occurred and will continue to grow bigger than ever what we can see. And just wait, we will see this in the near future. So the second important analysis is revenue forecast. 
So the worldwide self-service kiosk market is predicted to increase a compound yearly growth of 6.5%, reaching 42.6 billion USD by 2030. This is because the growing absorption of customers towards kiosks that lead the market, customers know with its desire a flawless experience without too much commotion, which leads to customers' independence. So customers appreciate using kiosk structures because they allow them to purchase, uh, place an order, make payments, and so on in their own way. Customers raising desire to fall self kiosk is one of the primary reasons the worldwide market for the interactive kiosk is expanding at such a rapid pace. So kiosk machines or structures provide dif different services to customers such as self checkout online buying uh, pick up in store bill your purchase on your own and many more it is definitely have become a key facility in the retail business the majority of individuals who visit completely automated stores describe the experience as convenient fast advanced and satisfying so customers are drawn to the convenience provided by the kiosk structures as a result Self-service kiosks minimize the need for consumers to wait in line, saving both time and energy. Along with this, uh, another factor that driving the market is the adoption of cloud computing technologies in kiosk structures. Right? So the interactive kiosk may be accessible from anywhere in the globe thanks to the cloud computing technology, which further broadens the application horizon. The inclusion of advanced computer system in self-service kiosks leads to the increasing demands for kiosk structures. As you can see, um, anywhere globally, the, inc the increase of demand for the self-service kiosk is very high and keep going on demanding from the customers. So that's all from me. Thank you. As a conclusion, it is obvious that self-service kiosks offer several benefits to customers. Consumer will undoubtedly love this option due to the flexibility that this technology provides. This kiosk is really integrated to create a more efficient, connected, and advanced and smart experience. Of course, some customers will still prefer more traditional face-to-face -face exchange order and so on. Self-service kiosks do not always have to be direct replacement for conventional services. Instead, they are frequently used as an improvement to 21st century hospitality. As a result, self-service kiosks make restaurants more productive and increase their profits. In addition to making more money, they also increase sales and order sizes. Since guests no longer have to talk to a person to place an order, they feel more comfortable doing so. 